Being a member of Cumbria Tourism is basically being part of um, a, you know, a lobbying organisation, a, a, a union if you like. We're, we're here on your behalf and the more of you are, there are and the more support there is, the more that we can do and the louder our voice becomes, whether that's marketing, whether that's lobbying, whether that's business support. So thank you for all of your support throughout this last year. We hope that you'll stay with us so that we can work even harder on your behalf. The strength of Cumbria Tourism is its membership. Um, we, we have the most fantastic membership that comes from right across the county um, and from right across our really diverse portfolio of, of businesses that, that operate in the visitor economy. And that strength together um, where we can represent every part of the county, every different type of business and every size of business it is what, what really makes one of the, one of the key strengths of, of Cumbria Tourism and allows Cumbria Tourism not only to market us as a destination to, to a wide variety of audiences, but also allows us the, the opportunity to do the lobbying um, and, and the connections in Westminster regionally with our politicians um, and on an international basis as well. It's been a really interesting year because in some ways it should have been more straightforward coming out of Covid but of course on top of that we've got alongside it the recruitment challenges, we've got the cost of living crisis and, and, and obviously the increases in your own costs. So a lot of challenges there but also a lot of opportunities. I think uncertainty is always a challenge in our business uh, uh, and it remains a challenge. We've got you know, an ongoing skills crisis that we're all uh, grappling with. And we've got continued changes in the, in the visitor profile, the demand profile, where people are holidaying, how they're holidaying and, and how they're taking it. And we've all got to really get to grips with that while still delivering those fantastic world-class experiences. I think that we're probably in a period now where destination marketing has never been more important. Um, you know, we've got to really try and hang on to that staycation market that we've got. The internet, people's opportunities to go out abroad um, has reopened up, but we haven't yet regained our international market. And I think that what we're seeing as well with the cost of living that's happening at the moment is um, that real need to make sure that we get a good, strong winter uh, under our belts as well. So very much um, our focus is on marketing, 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 marketing. The membership for, for, the, for the forthcoming year not only will, will facilitate great networking and opportunities to, to collaborate together, um, but it will actually bring the industry together and allow us to really have a strong voice at a time when we need it most with, with, with continued challenges right across the board facing our industry. One of the other main benefits, of course, is our research arm, and there are not very many destination management organisations that do this, but through um, Helen Tate in particular, we've got such a depth of information which is brilliant for us in terms of developing our strategy, our marketing, influencing our policy, but it's also information that's there for you to help you shape your own businesses' activities. Don't wait, join now. And a plea would also go out to you to, to talk to your friends and your, your neighbours who are not members of Cumbria Tourism and ask them why not and get them to work alongside you and us to do even more.